Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying an interesting expression, a rational expression. We have ln of 1 plus i which is a complex number divided by the ln of another complex number 2i. And I'll be presenting kind of maybe two approaches. Let's start with the main solution because the second one is not really a second solution but you'll see. So first of all I want to talk about the ln of a complex number. Now when you ln a complex number obviously you're gonna have multiple values. In other words ln z is multi-valued and it can be defined as follows ln z is equal to ln absolute value of z plus i times the argument of z. If you call argument of z theta, this basically comes from the fact that z can be written as absolute value of z times e to the power i theta. Well, most of the time we denote this with r, so we get a more compact expression, and this is called the polar form. And then if you ln both sides, that's pretty much what you're going to get. But the problem is we said that this is multi-valued, but if argument of z is a single number, like an angle, ln absolute value of z is a real logarithm, and this is actually a complex logarithm. So we're going to get a single answer from here. How is, how is that going to be uh, multi-valued? So here's the thing. There's actually argument of z can vary. For example, let's say we start with pi over 2 right? That is an angle that's a theta for any number, let's say you say, but then you can add 2 pi to it. So pi over 2 represents argument of z as well as pi over 2 plus 2 pi or pi over 2 minus 2 pi or any multiple of 2 pi is going to do, right? So we kind of need to talk about something that is unique, which is actually the principal argument. So I can also write ln z as ln absolute value of z, this part is not going to change. That's just a real number or the real part. And the imaginary part is just going to be i times the argument of z with a capital A plus 2 pi n. 2 pi n represents adding the multiples of 2 pi. The argument of z with a capital A basically represents the principal argument. All right. And the principal argument, the big A, the arc z with a big A, is basically defined to be between negative pi and pi. So we get a unique value on the argand plane. Make sense? So we can also talk about the principal value of the logarithm. And for that one, we can use a capital L for ln. And that can be written as ln absolute value of z plus i times the argument, which is a big A in this case, and that happens to be the principal argument. Make sense? So this is a unique value, but there are infinitely many values, which is basically given by this. Make sense? Okay, so once you find the principal argument, you can just add multiples of 2 pi and so on and so forth. Anyway, so this is basically kind of like an intro to the uh, complex logarithm. And then let's go ahead and see how we can handle this problem. So we're trying to find the ratio of ln 1 plus i to ln 2i. So you have multi-valued divided by multi-valued, you're going to have multi-valued result, right? Let's go ahead and write each one. First of all, ln 1 plus i. What is the argument of 1 plus i? If you kind of consider the argon plane real quick, you're going to get for 1 plus i, pi over 4 degrees. That'll be the principal argument because it's between negative pi and pi, and it's modulus, the absolute value is going to be square root of 2 from Pythagorean theorem. Make sense? So we can write this as ln square root of 2 plus i times the argument, the main one, the principal one is pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. So that's basically going to be the logarithm of 1 plus i, this multi-valued because n is an integer. Make sense? Now let's go ahead and take a look at ln 2i ln 2i similarly is going to have the following because its argument, if you think about 2i, it's basically going to be here and that'll make a pi over 2 radians 
and its modulus is just going to be two units because it's two units away from zero. It's going to be ln absolute value of z, remember that's two, plus i times, and I could probably follow the same color pattern, ln two plus i times pi over two plus two pi k. I don't want to use the same integer because then they'll be dependent. So let's go ahead and use a different integer, which means uh, they can uh, be different values. Make sense? Because they are multi-valued, obviously, we kind of need to focus on the principal values. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug it in. And then our answer is going to be kind of like an interesting ratio of two complex numbers, ln root 2 plus i times pi over 4 plus 2 pi n divided by ln 2 plus i multiplied by pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. And again, pi n and k are integers. So that will be the answer. And again, that's multi-value because when you vary k and n, obviously you're going to get a lot of values. So can a k and n be 0? Yes, they can pretty much be any integer, no restrictions. But we're going to talk about some specific values. Make sense? And you can definitely, you know, multiply by the conjugate, make it a little nicer looking, but that's going to look a little complicated. So let's go ahead and simplify it first. How about if n and k are both 1? Then from here, we get the following. ln root 2 plus i times pi over 4. I'm sorry, I meant to say if they're both 0, right? I want to get rid of the 2 pi n thing. Divided by ln 2 plus i times pi over 2. Does this ring a bell? If it doesn't, let's follow along. Now, ln root 2 is basically ln 2 to the power 1 half. And by using the properties of logs, we can basically write this as 1 half ln 2 plus i times pi over 4 divided by ln 2 plus i times pi over 2. Now here's what you I want you to notice that we can take out a 1 half in the numerator that gives us ln 2 plus i times. So you have to think what should I multiply 1 half by to get pi over 4? The answer is pi over 2 and now things are going to get much 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 nicer. Notice that the numerator and the denominator pretty much cancels out, leaving us with one half. Yes, this is awesome because we got a real value from here. Now, what does that mean? Though the answer is one half, it's only for particular values of n, of course. In fact, in fact, what happens here is one plus i squared is one plus i squared plus two i. I squared is negative one, so these two cancel out, leaving us with two i. So I can kind of replace, I can kind of replace 2i with 1 plus i squared. Let's do that. Now this is going to be ln 1 plus i divided by ln 1 plus i to the second power. Now under certain conditions, it doesn't always happen, but we can move this 2 to the front and then it becomes ln 1 plus i divided by 2 ln 1 plus i. And then ln 1 plus i cancels out nicely. And then we end up with 1 half one more time. But again, this is just a particular value of a multi-valued expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.